You do things. Have you noticed this? You do things, you think things, you decide things. It's what you do, it's your shtick. And you're doing great, good for you. But have you noticed that 95% of your behavior is governed by the subconscious, the reptilian part of your brain, distinct from the conscious mind, which is associated with the neocortex, responsible for processing and analyzing information. What is the subconscious mind? It is a storehouse of information, neural goodies, constantly scanning our environment, filtering through stimuli, and making split decisions based on past experiences that we have had. What lies in the mystery of this mental treasure trove? And how can we harness its power to transform our lives and become not necessarily great, great as pressure, but very decent? How can we become good? Good. let's say really good well the first thing you need to do and I'm gonna give you a few practical steps rather than just wishy-washy woo-woo Deepak Chopra type claptrap what are you watching what are you listening to what media are you consuming pay close attention to this because your subconscious mind is constantly running and downloading all of that information when you try to get to sleep are you listening to both comedic and intellectually stimulating nutritious content or are you listening to Soaks TV? If it's the former, well done. You're you're on your way, you're en route to morphing into the Ubermensch. And if it's that Soaks muck, catch yourself on. You're in for, in for a rude awakening. No, but do keep in mind that all of that information is plunging straight into the subconscious, many of us are passive consumers. We just we just stick something on Love Island or some fear-mongering, doomsday prediction type stuff. And that actually governs how you conduct yourself in the waking state, believe it or not. So that's number one. Guard your consumption. Affirmations. Now, affirmations are kind of a bit cringe. They're maybe a little bit female, but... I think it's better than nothing to tell yourself that you're you're good or you're decent or you're not a sinister warmonger or you're actually you're actually a pretty decent person. Another powerful method you can use is neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change and adapt based on our experiences. Seek discomfort, expose yourself. No, not like that. But tax me. Expose yourself to new experiences and create new neural pathways in the brain. You know, leap out of your comfort zone. Because when you're scared of something, you're constantly telling your subconscious mind that whatever it is you fear is a negative and you give it power, you give it control. You fear failure. Do something that you think you'll fail at. You don't think you can fly? Go to the nearest rooftop. Leap off a building. Do that 10 times, do it a thousand times. Eventually you will reprogram your subconscious and you'll sprout wings and soar through the skies like a beautiful Peregrine Falcon. Your comfort zone is a secret prison. It's time you dismantle the bars and start afresh. Another thing to do is break free from routine. For example, again, a bit cringe, but cold showers. Now, the self help crowd love to harp on about cold showers I like a warm shower I'm not going to lie I'm not trying to jump into icicles at first thing in the morning but but you know it is it is a, it is something that you can use 
um, when you first wake up, shock the system and, and set the tone for the day. Today I'm gonna embrace discomfort. Um, and break, you know, you break the habit, you break habits, you create new neural pathways in the brain. It's a tangible example of how our subconscious mind can be influenced through actions. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Power of words, this is another thing, this is kind of, well, this ties into affirmations. This kind of is based on affirmations. Whatever you tell yourself consciously, your subconscious interprets um, and, and shapes your reality in profound ways. If you wake up, if you're going out and you're getting dressed and you say to yourself, there's part of, part of you thinking, part of you has a little seed of doubt in your mind where you're like, that shirt, really? You're seriously gonna try and pull off plaid? You can't pull off plaid. You can pull off plaid. Anything you want, you can pull off. Pull me off, pull me off, pull me off. But yeah, your subconscious is constantly interpreting that thought, that speech, and reinforcing the belief so it becomes this vicious kind of eternal recurrence. Ground yourself in the present moment through meditation, through grounding acts like counting thing or look, observing things that are in the room, observing objects, touching them, and just really, you know, cradling these items, caressing these items, and and it just kind of it just kind of engulfs you into the moment um, instead of dreading the past. Or sorry, regretting the past, dreading the future, or is it the other way around? No, yeah, regretting the past, dreading the future. Um, realize that, you know, as Alan Watts said, you're under no obligation to be the per person you were five minutes ago. You can constantly reinvent yourself. Um, so that's another good method to use, and, and that's it. And if you do that, you'll be, you'll be the Ubermensch, like Frederick Nietzsche, you'll be like, who else will you be like Elon Musk, Conor McGregor, all me, you know, all these successful virtuosos, these highbrow folks, come join us, the water's fine.